Hello, this your girl Earl from Embrace and Reboy. And we got little Reva today. And I'm going to get Reva out of her Sunday best outfit. Even though I personally think she looks cute in it. That's her little unicorn baby doll that I had made. I ordered that from off the Etsy shop. Hold on, pull this passy out of her mouth. Hope up everyone is having a blessed day. I did pre-record some videos and I wasn't going to show Reva again this soon. But um, due to the fact that I haven't pre-recorded those other ones, I figure I'll just take this opportunity to um, change Reva. And talk about what I want to talk about today um, and I'll show y'all what I'm putting Reva on I do like this little dress the dress she was taking off it was by Wonder Nation it was a size newborn for those who are new to the channel Reva is the um, Reva silicone scalp by Lillian Briefo and she is also the Reva prototype she was completed by Claire Taylor of Claire Taylor Dolls. What I am going to put Reva on today, because it's warm. Um, hold on, let me get the tags off this. Where's this? Hold on, cut the tags off. See, you got to always make sure you take these little things here out. Your silicone dolls because you don't I mean out their clothes because you don't want to make sure it doesn't pierce their skin. But she's gonna put on oh I covering up Reva face. This little um sundress. It's a onesie, it has three ruffle layers that looks like a dress and onesie connected, snaps in the back, snaps in the seat, and this is by starting out, and it's a size newborn. Reva's so little she cannot wait zero to three months at all she only can wear newborn because she's on the smaller side she has seven pounds and she's going to either wear these um carters just one use sandals or th or these one or the other both of these are size newborn white sandals i hope all this is is this in frame yeah so either this one or these ones here with the scraps. And the hairband she got on mattress, so we'll just leave that on. But I come on to you guys this morning, not only to change Reva, but I got some, um, and I'm not going to call it disturbing news because... Through the grace of our good Lord and with the praise of everybody in this community, we could turn this situation into a good situation. But um, a sister in the community, um, Lynn from My Bella Blessing, contacted me this morning. And she said she knows she haven't been on much um, on YouTube because she has so much stuff going on. And now and I see why. Um, her daughter is expecting her first baby. And she just gave her daughter a um, baby show. And I think she said, if I'm not mistaken, I, th I believe it was two days after the show. The daughter had an appointment to the doctor, and they found out that, you know, um, the baby is going to have a cleft palate as well as a cleft lip. With that being said, is the, um, I know some of you guys may or may not be familiar with cleft lips, but the cleft palate is meaning that the inside of the mouth, like the roof of the mouth, that too is going to be also opened and they just found that out and I told her don't be discouraged 
because um, which I didn't know but I was telling my mom the story prior to me doing the video and she was saying that my um, uncle um, Doc his sister was born with the um, cliff palette and stuff when she was um but you know when they were little and that's been before they had the technology and stuff that we have now and she said that she, they ended up um doing surgery on her and she said that they did such a good job on her she said she's a pretty lady they did such a good job you wouldn't even know that she even was born with a um a cleft look because i was telling then she should try to come down here for a second opinion or uh, anybody who got any children in their family that has any type of medical issues when i tell you our musc that's the medical university of south carolina we have one of the top in the country children hospital and um and they are expanding it because we have so many people from all over the world come to our children hospital and i'm going to say a couple of examples that i know about personally that they have corrected um just like when my sister was pregnant i'll never get it because her and the neighbor they got pregnant around the same time right after hurricane hugo well fast forward um the neighbor she bragging up but she going to the she got private doctors and she going to the other um hospital and my sister was going to the musc clinic at the time and she, and she was like oh no i'm not going to that clinic i'm going to so she was going the neighbor was going to sir francis and i told her that that's that's nice but the one thing no matter which hospital you go to in charleston if your child is born with a serious medical condition that baby is going to get transferred out to musc to the, their children hospital sure enough now the same neighbor she was smoking and doing the most throughout her pregnancy and things and so her child was born with um some issues and she was at st francis and check it out where her child got transferred to musc and let me see how the other one look And the reason I picked both of these sandals, both of them have ruffles on them, so it can go either way. I think I like the other ones, yeah. But these got the ruffle tears, just like the ruffles on her shirt, her dress, and then this one got the ruffles going across with the patent leather bow. But, so... My sister, she ended up, um, the day my sister went in labor, so was her classmate was in labor in the waiting room at the same time. Her classmate ended up having a stroke in the wheelchair as she was waiting. But anyway, she was fine. And they, they tended to her and her child. They were doing just fine. My sister, um, they were trying to give her natural birth. But my niece got stuck in the birth canal. And so they used the forceps and the vacuum to try to get my niece out. And they couldn't get her out. So um, they ended up um, doing emergency C-section on my sister. Her temperature went up to, it was over 102. A day or so later, my niece ended up in the NICU because she swallowed a lot of fluids trying to get out. So they had all those things hooked up to her, through her belly and through the, you know, the, the navel area and stuff. And um, they had her in the NICU. So the only person could have seen her was my mom, the granddad, I mean, the other grandparents, and, um, and of course, the parents to the child. We only saw Polaroid. 
but once my sister ran the high fever, they ended up closing, um, they had to reopen the wound because with the emergency C-section, they couldn't cut her across. They had to cut her straight up and down. And once you reopen something, you can't, they couldn't close it back. So technically, they had to leave her stomach open and taught my mom how to pack it. And it had to heal, close, you know, pack it on a daily basis with heal from the inside to out. But the baby actually came home before my sister came home out the hospital. We had the baby here and she was still in the hospital. But they took care of her, they took care of my niece, and now they both are doing fine. My girlfriend daughter, who was in the military, her daughter was born with a heart condition. And she had to go to MUSC. Um, she came down from Florida to MUSC. They took the baby to MUSC. The MUSC did arrangements to go on and did, did the surgery on her baby heart. And she would come down, you know, go there on a daily basis, pump milk to take to the baby. And that child is in high school now doing fine. Just got her driving permit. So that's what I'm saying. And I remember one time, it was a Caucasian little girl. She and her little friends, teens, you know, doing teenager things. She, they call themselves want to do go shrooming, which is how they t eat some kind of mushroom and get high or whatever. But this little girl had ate um, um, some of the mushroom and it damaged her lover so bad. She was in MUSC. MUSC and I'm taking a piece of her mama lover and petting her because a piece of a lover can grow you back in an entire lover and that would save that little girl but I see these and then I had a cousin my first cousin her daughter was born and somehow I did I, if I'm not mistaken, I want to think they say she didn't have all her chromosomes, something. She, and I mean, she's still wheelchair bound, don't get me wrong. But right now, she is the E, and they say she can never walk or talk and stuff like this. And she got nurses and everything, but I don't know. I can tell you how many surgeries and things they done on this little girl, but she's still here with us to this day. She, you know, she still can, like, go to school or function like the normal person, but regardless, she's healthy, she's doing fine, and she's, I mean, she's still wheelchair-bound, but she's still here with us to this day. So that's why I say these stories that don't get discouraged, regardless of what the doctors say. God has the last say-so on everything. So once again, I need our community to come together, and um, her daughter opened up a new YouTube channel, and the name of her channel is, say, For the Love of Maya Lynn. You know her mama name is Lynn from My Bella Blessing. And I'm going to show these two names because I want y'all to go to these two channels and sh show them some love. The mama name is My Bella Blessing, all spelled together. That's Lynn. That's, you all are familiar with Bella Blessing in our community. This is her, her um, daughter channel, For the Love of Maya Lynn, and that's so cute. She named the baby after her mom. And she said that she, besides, you know, the low pamphlets and things the doctor gave her. Let me put this up again. Y'all freeze your screen on your, um, write down both of these, these names. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe to both of these channels. Show your love. Give them words of encouragement and praise to these channels. And, um, I want you guys to, um, and if you know anybody else who went through this, ask that person, could they come and give them some words of encouragement? And like I say, just because the doctor said one thing, God has the last say so, and we're going to see an outdoors of ministering angels to touch and, um, her, her daughter and heal that baby while it's still in the womb because prayers can change things and even if it come out the way they said it's going to come out we're going to continue to pray so that when they go to correct the situation she's going to be a-okay because we have to come and I and she said Earl I, I said oh I'm gonna use my platform to bring awareness to this and um, 
and ask other people to please come out and support her channel. Hold on one second. We want to bring awareness. Because even though I've done nursing for um, 29 years, I, I, I'm not familiar with a lot of people with Claire. I only know besides the one mom told me about, but she's way older than I am. And mom said, that lady doing fine. And he's still a pretty lady to this day. Been a pretty girl as a child. And she grew up to be a beautiful lady and doing just fine. But they corrected her um, surgery and you would never, she said, to see her, you would never know unless somebody told you she had it. And I know my girlfriend, um, Stella, she said that one of the um, ladies at her church had a child. But I don't know if that person still go to their church. If I can get in touch with Stella, get in touch with that person, um, you know, and have them reach out to you guys or whatever. Maybe can get, tell you all a little bit more information on it. But anyway, her daughter decides, since there's not much information about this out here, she decided to open up a YouTube channel called For the Love of Maya Lynn to bring awareness to it so if somebody else in her situation and they was just diagnosed with um, their child with this thing here, um, at least there'll be some, uh, some awareness videos on YouTube about it and maybe her story can help bless somebody else. But like I said, I want us to come together. Because I said, we more than a dog community. We are a sisterhood. And that's what I told her today on the text. I said, oh, I have no problem. I'm going getting up right now to go do the video. And I said, because I always say in the end of my videos, for all us to continue to pray for one another, we are more than a dog community. We are a sisterhood. We are a family. So the same way everybody came together when my parents were going through and prayed for my mom and dad. And there were many times, y'all know, I about killed my dad pool. And dad been in the hospital five months straight. So with that being said, dad is home right now and doing just fine. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come together. Um, I will keep y'all posted as to how she is doing when the baby come. I'll keep y'all posted as well. But also go to her channel because she'll be doing some posts. But I just want to bring awareness. I want y'all to go, all of everybody that subscribed to my channel go subscribe to her mama channel as and definitely subscribe to her channel so y'all can be aware as the holla baby is doing and how it's coming along. And um, and like I said, if you know anybody else, family or friends who are going through this here, could you ask them to go subscribe to her channel and give her some words of encouragement? And, um, cause we got to be there for one another. I know, yeah, this is a doll channel and I know we are supposed to be here for the sake of the doll. But if you got a family, if you got a sister in the community that's going through something, we as a community need to come together as a community, put all the drama, the hatred, and all the bite, bit biting the thing aside and come together and be there and stand in the gap for one another. Cause the more prayers go up, the more blessings come down. And so... For little Miss Maya Lynn, we will be praying for you, and we're showing you the love and stuff. And um, and like I say, we want to um, bring awareness to her channel. So I want, if you're looking at this video, can you too? I'm asking each one of you guys, can y'all make a video and um, bring awareness to your subscribers because you may have more subscribers than I have, or you may have different subscribers than I have. And then that way, we can get a lot of people to show support to her channel and spread that love in the community for her. And um, just take the same information from off of my video. Do a video today or tomorrow or sometime this week whenever, you, you know, you got the time, the time allows. And um, go to her channel, subscribe to her channel. And if you put a video up, link, go to Instagram on to My Bella Blessing and send the link to your video, uh, con message Bella Blessing on, um, and say that you put a video up for her daughter as well so they can get to see the videos and see the love and support that our community has come together for, the, um, for her upcoming granddaughter as well as her daughter and for her because... She and the thing I love about Bella Blessing Channel is she's a um, true Christian lady. She always um, there's never been any negativity on her channel, 
and she's always been wanting to pray for everybody, um, go out there, do anything for anybody, um, always have positive positivity on her channel all the time. So let's show her some love and show some positivity on our channel, for her channel and for her daughter channel, and ask other people to subscribe to her daughter channel. Once again, I'm going to show y'all these names. <laughs> And because I can't edit, <laughs> this is all I have to do, mine. But if y'all edit on y'all channel, y'all can put the names up to tell y'all subscribers to go to these two channels. My Bella Blessing, that's the mom. For the love of Maya Lynn, that's her daughter's channel. And she's bringing awareness to, um, like I say, her first, she's pregnant with her first baby. She's, I know she's 37 weeks, I know. And, um... She's bringing awareness to um, other people who's going through this way. She's going through, and like I said, I just want all of, the, all of us to support their channel as well as they support ours. But once again, um, we continue to pray for each other. And due to the fact I believe the baby name is Maya Lynn. Somebody pray for Maya Lynn. Just keep them on their mind. Take the time and pray for my leg. Oh, I'm so glad you prayed. I'm so glad you prayed. I'm so glad you prayed for my leg. The dog community pray for my leg. Just keep her on your mind. Take the time and pray for her. Oh, I'm so glad you prayed. I'm so glad you prayed. I'm so glad you prayed for my land. Come together and pray for my land. Hallelujah. Just keep her on your mind. Take the time and pray for her. Oh, I'm so glad you prayed. I'm so glad you prayed. I'm so glad you prayed for my land. Somebody pray for my leg. Keep her on your mind. Take the time and pray for my leg. Oh, I'm so glad you pray. I'm so glad you pray. I'm so glad you pray for my leg. Bella blessing, we praying for my. We keeping her on our minds. Take the time and pray for her. Oh, I'm so glad we pray. We will always pray. We will be praying for my land. Somebody pray for my land. Hallelujah. Just keep her on your mind. Take the time and pray for my land. Oh, I'm so glad you pray. I'm so glad you pray. I'm so glad you pray for my land. Oh, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We will continue to pray for your grandbaby, Bella Blessing. I tell you the truth. When you see, and this right here goes to tell you, when you think, because even sometimes, even me, myself, I'm at fault. When you get in a petty party and think of that, oh, life ain't what you thought it should be. Oh, uh, you you know, you feeling like you at the, at the bottom of something going, you know, like, you just can't get out of your hole. And then here it is, you hear somebody else going through something worse off than you. You see what I'm saying? But then you, that, that makes you like, you know, what, why am I sitting here complaining? I woke up this morning, God got me started on my way. What a mighty God he is. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, sometimes we have to recollect and gather our thoughts and pull ourselves out of our own petty parties and be like, you know, here it is. God gave us breath today. There are several people in the newspaper are being put six feet under the day. If, God, if we on the top side of the soil versus underneath it, that is a blessing in itself. So with that being said, y'all just continue to love one another, continue to be a blessing to one another. And like I say, when one no, like mom always taught us, if one don't have and the other one have, you lend that helping hand. If one in need of prayer, you, you pray for that one. Like I said, a lot of people in this dog community, we take, a lot of people laugh at their dogs or talk about their dogs or say this one ain't, we not supporting them because they got this particular brand of dog. That, that's silly. They get what their money could afford. Let's continue to be a blessing to one another channel. Stop being so 
caddy and unsubscribing from people channels because they sold a doll or unsubscribing from their channel because they don't have the type of doll that's up to your standards. Stop, you know, this is supposed to be a doll community. I don't care if it's a rag doll, a homie doll, a reborn doll, a baby alive. I don't care. We all supposed to be here for the love of dolls and the love of one another. So let's continue to um, be a blessing to one another channels, continue to watch each other channels, continue to support each other channels. And um, there's a little, let me see, or oh, I don't have, I see this is the thing I hear about working on my phone. I can't show you things off my phone. But you can go, um, when you go to pull up your YouTube channel, down below it says inbox. You hit that and um, and it says notifications. You hit that word notifications. And it'll tell you every comment somebody commented on your video. It'll tell you everybody who subscribed to your channel. So if they subscribe to your channel, you hit that same person name and you go back and subscribe to their channel. Because if they take the time to support you, you try to support them. You may can't look at every channel that they, they, every video that they put out. But you can at least put that number down and saying that you're subscribing to their channel as well. And then do go back and look at one or two couple of their videos as well because they take the time to look at jewels. And this is what I'm trying to do now. You know, I can't hit everybody. But I'm slowly but surely getting around, especially some of the newer ones and stuff, trying to um, go over to support them as well. But um, Bella Blessing, we got your back. Keep your head up, girly. We love you. We love your um, grandbaby-to-be. And your daughter, she is a beautiful um, person. And she got a beautiful spirit coming through through her YouTube channel. I'll definitely be keeping up with her channel as well. And believe it or not, she sounds like you when she talks. Such a beautiful person. But anyway, um, y'all continue to keep Bella Bless and her family in your prayers. And like I say, please don't forget to y'all um, today. I know today is Theme Thursday. And I, I, and, um, and I believe it's supposed to be black and white. I, I'm not even sure what it's supposed to be. I know I did look at the video, but I don't think, um, um, I know I'm not in the theme, but this is what I picked out for Reva today. But um, I'll get back on track with those theme Thursday, hopefully by next week. And I was thinking my niece coming this weekend, but Mom said she's going to think she's coming for two more weeks. So I got to get that straightened up so I can let Sam know because um, I'm supposed to be sending some things to her. But anyway, i getting off track. Once again, y'all, continue to go out there. Like I say, make up the video. Go to My Bella Blessing on Instagram. I'll go to her YouTube page and send her the link of your video. And if you don't know how to send the link, because I, I don't know how to do it directly myself. What I usually do, I send it to myself, to my phone number, or to text message. And then I um, copy it, and then I send it that way there. And, you know, I copy and paste that way, because that's the only way I know how to do it. But anyway, y'all, copy and paste your video, send your video to yourself. Copy, hit copy and paste once you get it on your text message. Then go to her My Bella Blessing on Instagram and paste it to um, to Messenger for her. And then that way she can send those videos to forward them to her daughter. Uh, you can even forward it underneath your um, message on YouTube to say check out this video. I put this video up in support of your brand as well. Once again, this your girl Earl. I'm going to bring this video to the end. This your girl, girl Earl. Um... Reva Grace and Bella Blessing, like I say, is nothing. Um, we, we, as a community, we are praying for you, your daughter, and your grandbaby. And it is nothing like a mother's love for her child. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me because the Bible told me so. So that little baby is loved by Jesus in the name of Jesus. We will be praying for her good health and strength. And we are sending all those ministry angels out to Atlanta, Georgia. We're keeping y'all in our prayers. And y'all have a blessed day. And as always, thanks for watching. You can't tell me my God don't love me. He picked me up and he turned me around. You can't tell me my God don't love me. Place my feet on solid ground. You can't tell me my God don't love me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
Yes, Jesus loves me because the Bible told me so. You can't tell me my God don't love me. You can't tell me my God don't love me. Yes, Jesus loves me because the Bible told me so.